Hey, this is Damon Tordini with Hawkridge Systems. I'm here to show you the new injection location advisor for SolidWorks Plastics. Plastics is the add-in for SolidWorks that can help you simulate the injection molding process for a plastic part, such as this PVC pipe fitting that I'm currently designing. If I was trying to figure out not only the best design for this plastic part, but also basics about the mold setup, such as the number of gates or where they should be located, I could do that with SolidWorks Plastics, but in the past that would have meant creating and running multiple studies and trying to compare the results. With the addition of the Injection Location Advisor in SolidWorks Plastics, I can get an automatic recommendation of the best locations for those gates without having to run those studies myself. Before I get that recommendation, I have to specify the material that I'm planning to fill this cavity with from my injection molding machine. And I can do that by going into the polymer library, which consists of about 4,500 plastic materials. This library has recently been updated with some new materials from various vendors, such as Static Specialties. And there's one particular material in here, uh, which is an ABS PVC blend called Psychovan K29 that's been added. I can select that material or any of the other recently updated plastics. There are about 1,500 materials that have been recently expanded and updated to reflect the current state of the plastics market. With that material applied, I can go to my boundary conditions and pop up the new injection location advisor. This is going to automatically recommend where the gates on, should be located in my part cavity based on the number of gates that I want and the mold open direction. We can start with the default direction here, of the top plane, and see a preview of where those two gates would be ideally located based on minimizing the filling time, filling pressure, and creating a quality fill pattern. You can see that Plastics is recommending that I place two gates on the inside of my mold cavity on the same half of the part. And that's going to possibly create a weld line right through the middle of the part that I don't want. So if I think I want to define my mold open direction in a different way, maybe I'm coming up with a new idea for the parting line, I can select a different plane for that and see how SOLIDWORKS Plastics updates its recommendation. In this example, the program is smart enough to realize that it shouldn't put the gates on opposite sides of the mold cavity to simplify the machining of the gate into the core. Now the gates, so you can see, are evenly spaced on the inside of the part, and that's eliminated that potential weld line. Maybe I've also decided that two gates aren't necessary, and I want to reduce that to one, but I also want to make sure that the gate isn't placed on the inside of the cavity. Maybe there's a complex uh, lifter or core pin assembly that I'm going to need in my mold tool. I can exclude that internal face and uh, have SOLIDWORKS Plastics give me an updated recommendation on any of the other faces in my part. Now that I've learned the ideal location for my gate, I can skip straight ahead to running a more detailed analysis using the solid mesh, which is going to allow me not only to specify that gate location, but draw out the size and shape of the gate. And I'm also going to be able to more accurately simulate the fill pattern throughout the internal volume of the part by using something called the direct solver. This is an option under the solver settings for your fill analysis, which gives you the most accurate fill pattern, although historically it had the longest solve time. However, the solver was recently improved to improve the performance of the solver. And on average, the solve time for a fill analysis using the direct solver has been reduced by anywhere from 30 to 70%, depending on part design. That means that now it's going to be faster than ever to not only pinpoint where your gate should be located, but what the resulting fill pattern will look like and whether that filling pattern will result in weld lines, air traps, sink marks, or other potential defects. Stay tuned to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more tips on SOLIDWORKS Plastics and all the products in our design to manufacturing portfolio.